Uh, she met him and she was convinced that uh, it should be him because he does speak French even though he's got a slight accent. So everybody's here for the film by my when the whole crew is with us in Cannes this evening. And there's Mai Wen, she's hustled out of her car, rushing over to sign some autographs. The film director, she's a regular here. Uh, there's Johnny Depp also in the crowd, but Mai Wen is here. Two police with her film in 2011 in the official selection. There's Pierre Richard, the French uh, actor, which you can see there, a hero of uh, French comic comedy films in the 80s. And if, I don't know if you saw some pictures up there with the posters with Johnny written on them. Everyone's here for Johnny Depp, and he's uh, playing the game there, signing autographs. There's Pascal Gregory, who's also in the film. There's an impressive cast in this film. Noemi Lovsky, Pierre Richard, India Air also. Pascal is a, is a really famous actor here in France, played a lot in the Chiron films, in Queen Margot. But here we have Mai Wen signing autographs and doing selfies. Mai Wen on one hand, Johnny Depp on the other. Everything's fine. There was a bit of a controversy during the film, during the shoot. Some people said it, uh, uh, well, everyone has their own version. Mai Wen has said that they had a few cultural differences to overcome, her and Johnny Depp. But that working with an American is not like working with French actors, for example. She was told never to go and knock on Johnny's dressing room door. She did it once, and uh, but never again. Uh, there we have Johnny Depp and Pierre Richard. What a what a contrasting photo for us here at the 76 Cannes Film Festival. Amazing when you think that this is a film festival for all types of film because. Uh, uh, Pierre Richard has been in a lot of comedy films from the 70s and 80s, along with François uh, Perrin in all of the Weber films. And here he is starring alongside Johnny Depp today. Isn't that amazing? So Jeanne Dubarry is the story of the woman of that name. Jeanne Vaubernier, that was her name when she was born. She wanted to go up the social ranks. She used her feminine charms to get there. She was a courtesan. And her lover, the Count of Dubarry, made sure she met the king. And she became the king's mistress. My King, Mon Roi, was the title of the May Wan's film, which she made in 2010, which won the Best Actress Award for Emmanuel Lebeco, who was uh, acting alongside Vincent Cassel for that film. So DNA was another film by My Wan. It was released in 2020. There we have all the photographers. I think Mai Wen chose this music for their ascension up the red carpet. Should we stay or should I stay or should I go? There's Pierre Richard. India hair there, bobbing around to the music. Mai Wen, Johnny Depp, talking to the son of Mai Wen, who also acts in the film. Diego Lefort is his name. Hanging on to his mum's hand nice and tightly. So he has uh, really embraced the project too. She might have wanted to do this for seven years. It's taken her seven years to bring the film to Cannes. And the film Marie Antoinette by Sofia Coppola gave her the inspiration to do it. And May one said that she too would like to do something. So she read all about the subject and managed to make her own film. 
So the crew from that team moving forward. Benjamin Laverne is there with Pierre Richard and Johnny Depp and Myron. We have Pascal Gregory Melvin Poupo, another great actor who we've seen in Cannes many, many times, of course, uh, working with the Deplachin brothers. Last year, that's the son of uh, my Wen, Diego Le Four, uh, Pierre Richard, Benjamin uh, Lavoir. It's great to see this crew. My Wen with uh, This film is going to be released in France tomorrow. So it, and also it's being screened this evening, especially in many movie theaters. There's been quite a lot of talk about pressure between Johnny Depp and Mai Wen. Mai Wen put everyone straight and said that when we had to tell Johnny it was time to get ready for his set, I went and knocked on the door, and that was something which is, must not be done. He explained to me that that must not be done, and it didn't happen again. So that was just a cultural difference, and it's all under the, water under the stream now. Water under the bridge, rather. So there we are. Johnny Depp used a coach so that his French sounded appropriate for the 17th century. He, of course, lived for some time with Vanessa Paradis, who speaks French, but he really wanted to learn French, and specifically French from the 17th century, so that he would be convincing in his role. Mai Wen has brought five films to Can four as a director, one as an actor. Johnny Depp has brought nine films to uh, Can. Johnny Depp there. On your screen. He's worked on many, many projects. He became known with Cry Baby, the film. And Mai Wen says that she fell in love with Johnny Depp when she watched Cry Baby. Johnny Depp has also been here with The Dead Man by Jim John Moosh and The Brave, his own film, with Marlon Brando. There we have Alexander Stucker on the right, who also acted uh, in other films. Another one in the selection, in fact, a first film with Virginie Effira, playing the role of a social worker that may run off with the child of the person play, or the character played by Virginie Evira. So my one's taken her glasses off so we can see her lovely eyes. So these actors you will have seen many times before in many films. Melvin Poupo was a member of the Golden Camera Jury in 2015, and he has brought 15 films to Cannes, including uh, the Raoul Ruiz one, who was in 1996 with Chiara Mastroani, who is the mistress of the ceremony this evening. And so uh, he said that that, was, that red carpet was one of his strongest uh, uh, memories because he was alongside Marcello Mastroianni on the red carpet. When you've been on the red carpet with Marcello Mastroianni, how could you not want to become an actor? He was only nine at the time, Melvin Poupou. But uh, it was an inspiration for him. My Wen's son is standing next to her. His name is Diego Le Four. To justify her choice of making the film Jean de Paris, Mai Wen said that the character was a fabulous loser who was an inspiration to her and she could identify with the character. And she said there are some similarities between herself and the character. My wife started her career in L'été Meurtri when she was just a child. 
Uh, she was with the young Isabel Ajani, of course, also. And, of course, with uh, Luc uh, Besson. She's an amazing filmmaker, always uses several cameras, which is quite a challenge for...